finally got a break in the traffic. Running over here because I feel like there might be a massive culvert pipe in this dried up river valley. That's what I'm going to see. Yes, I do see a culvert pipe down there. As you can see, this rarely flows. This is a place that gets very little rain. This is in southeast Washington state. Don't get a lot of rain around here. Just want to see what type of culvert pipe is down here. By the look of all the trees growing down there, there's definitely some moisture down there. And considering they're not pushed over at all, it doesn't flow heavily often. And the culvert up here is not nearly as big as I would have expected to see. But that's because the water that goes through there is probably just a little trickle. It's really not that much. And the trees probably also help it not clog because they collect debris. So we are going to slowly make our way down there to the culvert entrance. It's going to be way easier going up. I'm just trying not to slide. This ground is very soft. Once I get into the rocks there, I'll feel much better about it. Just walking sideways very carefully not to slide down here. Yeah, this is an avalanche of rocks waiting to happen. I only got another 30 feet or so to go before I'm in the much bigger rock patch. Uh, it's still moving. All right, we got another 10 feet before we're pretty much in the clear. Should have walked down from over there, I think. Gonna make my way down here a little more. Very loose ground. All right, safety in the rocks. Now I just gotta be careful for rattlesnakes in the rocks. We'll slowly make our way down here. It doesn't really matter where I get down because it's flat down there and I can just walk over to it. I'm now down about halfway from the road and just like any time I go mountain climbing, it's always a good idea to listen carefully because there could always be something that you loosened that waits to fall or somebody walking up ahead of you on the trail loosens something and you got to be able to dodge that that happened to me once on the treacherous side of Mount Washington in New Hampshire and I didn't almost get hit but it was like 20 feet away so that's why I'm always thinking about that potential hazard all right we're about to come down into the line of thickets some kind of creature lives here now the snakes definitely do not want to hurt you they will avoid you at all costs just don't want to startle one I know a lot of snakes and it wouldn't be a problem around here, but I know down south a lot of the rattlers, they won't even give you a warning anymore because it attracts mostly feral pigs, which will eat the snake, and they've learned that. All right, we are just about down. Now we're into the bushes. And I actually hear water trickling. I didn't expect to find water down here because most of the water that we see out here 
is brought in by man-made structures. Irrigation canals everywhere, brought in from the Columbia River. Series of dams along that Columbia River that make it back up so it rises up enough and they can spill it into irrigation ditches and it flows downstream into smaller and smaller reservoirs, smaller and smaller ditches until it makes its way into the farmer's sprinklers. This culvert did not look that big from up above. It's a pretty big one. There's a little bit of graffiti in there too. That's a big old culvert. Yep, and I was right, the trees do help it not clog. There's a bunch of debris stuck up in it. I'm gonna see if I can find a way down there. Probably on the other side. The water's pretty shallow too. It's definitely a way down somewhere. It might be from the exiting end too. There are trails here. Probably from people going down here. Maybe just animals. I do see some animal droppings there. I do see a trail here. Hopefully it's not just a homeless camp that we're about to intrude on. making my way this is so dense I don't see a way in there potentially I see a way if I can get to the culvert I'll most likely leave through the other side I've been trying for the past 10 minutes to find a clean way in here Oh, that was just a grasshopper. Because I am worried about the hidden danger of rattlesnakes. I do not see a way in here. There's so much debris down here. It's so thick where it's wet. everyone I think I'm gonna potentially try going back up and we'll go down the other side which is a little bit more gradual it's gonna be much easier climbing up this stuff Need a moment to catch my breath. Oh, this rock's loose. Oh, it's still going back there. Oh, there it is again. That right there is why it's dangerous to listen. Because there are dangers. Now we gotta wait for traffic to clear. And we'll go to the other side. It's gonna be a while. There's a lot of cars coming. Finally, we got a break. We got a break in the traffic. Okay. The other side does not look that bad. But, just like over there, it's extremely overgrown. Because the plants are all fighting over the only wet spot anywhere around here. Whoa. Got caught in the guardrail. Just like before, it's gonna be a landslide area up top. 
does look like there's a good trail there getting back up. That's the way I'm gonna get back up. It's a little out of the way at the moment. I guess this is as good as any place to go down. I do see a bunch of water trickling. This is a storm in here. That's pretty cool. Gonna start going down right here, I guess, where the erosion control is. Probably the easiest spot to avoid all the sand. Now the blasting water coming down here has made it pretty easy to walk. You see, it's kind of like stairs. Not as worried about a landslide here. The water already figured out where all the loose rocks are and it moved them. Yes, this is far easier to go down. I don't even have to use all fours. This place has a lot of garbage. Yes, even the rural farmland somehow this area of Washington has found itself to be pretty polluted. Now it's a little loose here, but we're almost all the way back down. Up there where it was sandy, instead of fighting it, I just let myself slide on my butt for like 10 feet. Wow, that's been out here a while. See all the plastic bottles just shattered? Okay, so right here, you see it's very lush next to the water. But I don't think we're going to be able to find a way down. Definitely be able to look at it. But I think that might be about it. It's starting to get hot out already. There's some styrofoam starting to break down. Lots of poops from some kind of creature. Kind of look like rat poops. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful blanket covering the entire culvert entrance. It's like a cave. This is literally a little oasis in a desert-like area. Too bad there's no beavers. They'd build a dam here and fill this area up. I know at the beginning of the video I said that there's no water to work with. Well, that's just because I've been exploring out here for weeks and it's so hard to come by. And beavers that used to be out here have been basically brought to extinction in the West. But they are working on putting them back to help with these dry areas. Keep at it. Maybe we can find a way in there. I'm very interested in this. I know there's probably snakes here because I see a lot of rodent droppings. Yeah, this area is so thick, I can't find a way through here safely. I am seeing a bunch of debris buildups here. 
I haven't found any solid evidence yet, but there is a potential that there might be muskrats around. I know muskrats typically work with beavers, but they build very similar lodges. They build similar dams. I have yet to see muskrats building a dam. But I know they do clog up culverts on a smaller scale. And they're good friends with the beavers. I've seen them on trail cameras just working with them. They'll live inside lodges with them. I'm guessing the people who do the graffiti probably come here in the winter time when you don't have to worry about the snakes. When this becomes pretty snowy. At least we got a flat walk back up. I literally see a trail coming down here. I'm sure the locals have figured out the best route down here. Which is probably this trail right here. Wouldn't be surprised if it's only used in the winter. I'd feel a lot better with the big high boots being here. Because of the snakes. But it does make me feel better knowing how few people actually get bit here. This is actually a trail getting us here. I think it's most likely a human trail. Look at that big pile of debris. So it looks like every year the vines die and they just keep climbing over themselves making these piles. And this is not stable to walk on these piles. Kind of worried what creature might be down beneath. Yeah, like that when my boots fall through it. When it finally can't support my weight. All right, it looks like we finally making our way in here. Water's pretty clean. Now, I know that without my big high boots, it's almost certain I'm gonna flood them. I don't mind. This is refreshing. Water's freezing cold. Oh my gosh, these rocks are slippery. Oh, gotta jump for it. I got my pants wet, but I did not flood my boots. Look at those air bubbles, how they're stuck on the moss that's pretty cool now we got to find a way through this blanket and hope there's no widows in it we're gonna find our way through the side here we are in the culvert pipe awesome there's an updraft moving this way and I see some barn swallow nests I sometimes get them confused. Sometimes they're cliff swallows, but these appear to be barn swallows. Typically a cliff swallow, it's like a round, they have a hole coming out of it. It's like a hole in case house. But these are barn swallows, how they have just a ledge they built on the side with mud. So it looks like when this culvert was designed, it had baffles, wooden baffles, but they have completely rotted out of the way. I don't think that this thing dried up and burned in here. I don't see yet. I think it's just rot. This was done a long time ago, but it's still effective. Because in the time the wood was still there, it built up all the sediment. And the metal's still there, keeping it intact. It looks like the majority of this is new sticks. Stuff that they didn't put in here. But it's still working very effectively. I'm happy I was able to get in here. 
this truly is a little oasis. It's nice and cold in here with the water. It's nice and shaded behind this beautiful blanket of plants. You see, most of the stuff you see here is from previous years or earlier this year that has already died. This took many years to make this blanket. It's really nice. Look at the big slurry of poop coming down from that bird's nest. My hands are all dusty and dirty. I gotta wash it off. That's so refreshing. Gotta splash a little of that up onto my face. So nice. That's really pretty, the flickering of the sunlight filtering through. All right, it's time to leave. Now, if I don't do this carefully, this is where I could get absolutely soaked. I think I'm gonna put my camera down into my waterproof pouch before I do this. I made it. My whole butt is soaking wet. My boots are not technically flooded, but it dribbled down my pants. I'm not upset at all. I'm nice and cool now. Today's gonna be climbing into the lower 90s. The temperature fluctuations around here I really like. In this open area, it can really get down at night, which I like. Last night got down to 41 Fahrenheit. Perfect for sleeping in the vehicle. It's supposed to be in the lower 90s today. See what I mean? Does anybody know what kind of droppings those are? It's got to be some kind of little creature that lives down here. Whether it be some type of squirrel or a rat, something like that. And that's why I would assume snakes would be here, especially with the water source. I'm just being cautious. I have seen two rattlesnakes so far and a number of snakes I have yet to identify. Now we got a nice gradual path up. I'm glad I went down the other way because now I know what it's like. If I would have came down here the easiest looking way first, never would have got to see the other side. We're about halfway back up. This is, this is probably the best way down. And by the looks of it, this may actually be old access to get down here from when they installed the culvert decades ago. I'm gonna have to get something nice to drink when I get back up. This just goes to show how important water is. Everything around here looks dead except the bottom there is full of life. Evidence of rodents, there's birds everywhere. And this right here is one of the reasons why the West is investing in re-adding beavers to the area. Over the next decade, they're planning on releasing hundreds of thousands of beavers in areas where they once lived and were basically killed out because they're in a nuisance and they made really warm clothing. But you see this area here, it's deep down, can't really cause a problem. They could easily put a beaver dam across here using all the grass and thickets, raise the water up a couple feet, flooding it. It would turn this whole valley nice and bright green. And it would also raise the water level of the entire surrounding area. Beavers just have to be relocated sometimes to areas where they can cause good. Here's a nice animal trail too, heavily traveled. 
Oh, all clear. Just gonna zip out of that parking spot. And there we are. From above, I didn't even know there was water down there. Can't even see it. All I could see was the greenery, and I assumed there was just enough moisture to keep it alive. But I'm happy I found water down there. Water is hard to come by out here. At least not fake man-made ditches. That's the road we were just down on. Now we're up here. This is a better view of how far down that canyon actually went. Must have climbed down at least a hundred feet. I hope today's video was interesting everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.